Just a minute. Good morning. Ooh. Morning, Kobo. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. I'm not going to lie, that's like my third cup. But, you know, we got back last night uh, about 5 o'clock, and the dogs were excited, super excited to see us. So was Cub. And we were ex super excited to see them, so that was, that was great. But, as I wake up this morning, and I'm, you know, felt good to sleep in our own bed. We had a wonderful time away, um, but we're back home, and it feels good. And... The medicines are empty, so I got to refill those. And looks like the yard's a jungle. Um, so we've been away for two weeks, and it's pretty pretty high. The little Chowini, Bella, she has got, you can't see her when she's walking in it. So <laughs> that'll have to be addressed today. So let me uh, let me take care of this, and then. Uh, See what we get into next. So of course they're not by the grass where it's really long, but you can kind of see. Okay, so I got it up, uh, full up until I ran out of the first one. So I've got a, me a message that says my prescription's ready. So, but cheers. <sighs> Happy Monday, everybody. Good to be home. Good to be back. I had a blast. Uh, whirlwind trip. We crossed a couple more states off our places we've never been before. So even though we just drew, drove through the top part of, by God, West Virginia and uh, Pennsylvania and Maryland and in Delaware to Rehoboth Beach. Uh, and then we came down to, into Virginia back in North Carolina and back to South Carolina. Uh, it's always a drive home that's the longest, but uh, it was a, it was, it's been a good trip. It's been a hella busy month. Um, we get right back into swim tonight. And this week, Thursday, we have a big meet. So it's called Crosstown Throwdown. Um, there's three high schools in our town and all three of them at one time so it's kind of a big big deal for for the high school kids so but uh yeah i think i'm gonna handle the grass so i'll show you all that when i get her done we're all going <laughs> y'all so that's what it looks like all cut i'm done for the day it's a hot it's getting hot being out there in the sun it's getting hot so time for gatorade cheers boy that grass was gnarly Ooh. New hat, picked it up at uh, in Columbus, Ohio. I like it. Wow. So I don't know if y'all do this, but you're cutting grass, you know, and you don't have the headset in. You just got stuff in your head playing. I was reflecting over the week, the last two weeks, this vacation trip that we went on. Very blessed that uh. <clears throat> very blessed that, that I was able to do this. Um, 
the relief that my in-laws, you could see it in their eyes when we showed up. It meant a lot to them and it meant a lot to us because they do mean something to us. So it was good to be there. It was unexpected. We weren't planning on it and we made the best of it and we had a good time. Don't, don't let me, don't think we did. Glad we did it. I'd do it again. Um, then we went over to Annapolis for the night and then met up with the soon to be bride and groom at the time. Had a good lunch. Um, went to Rehoboth Beach to the beach house. Had a great time. Nice, nice little area. Um, bed and breakfast. I think it had like 12 rooms. Um, I didn't go upstairs at all because I didn't need to. But uh, they had a boardwalk. Everything was there. We had a good time. We really did. Even though the wife had to work and she got off at five, we made the best of it. We walked the beach. You could stand in the middle of the road and look down about, I don't know, say maybe a quarter mile, not even, two, 300 yards, and right there is the beach. So we could see the view from standing in the middle of the road. Had a great time. Um, the wedding. Yeah, we had 50 mile an hour winds and they were calling for parts of a hurricane, but that's what all, all matters. You know, what matters is we, we made the best of it. And actually, I think knowing the bride, we put on the best wedding that she wanted and not what was expected of her. So I don't know if any of that makes sense, but you know, the wife and I were there to be that kind of relaxation foundation, like, you know, kind of something to, I'm stressed out, get me unstressed. So, but then she's a planner. And when I say planner, she's got spreadsheets for every situation that could have came up, except for the second hurricane that was coming in and all this high mile an hour winds and what was going to happen and and the one thing that i kind of chuckled was she had plans for everything but there was no caterers it was me and my wife and we just brought the pork and all this stuff had to be done and you know her one sister jumped in and helped out a whole lot my wife and i turned that into the caterers and I don't bring that up as a, as a negative because it, it went fantastic, but it did, it brought something out in me that I missed. I missed it and I didn't know that I was capable of doing it, but that day running around for the few hours, you know, changing things around, making sure everything was hot, making sure this was out. The transition between hors d'oeuvres to the cake table to because this was all done in, in the front of the house to the to getting the gifts moved around and you know set up for the cake table then then for the serving and then serving of the food and all that stuff so that was old me that was something old me used to do and I hadn't done that and this brought out that opportunity and I mean boom it came out I was done I was out running we, we were setting up the the wine bottles the champagne you know the cider sparkling cider for the kids I mean we were we were doing it and there was no thought and there was a couple times after it, everything had calmed down and everybody's just chilling and we we were getting ready to turn the, the Buckeyes game on and um I just stopped and I was like, wow, what the hell just happened? But selfishly, that was me. Uh, you know, I'm finding, you know, you got to find everything good. And that part was excellent. And that brought something out of me I didn't, I hadn't seen in a, quite a few, in a couple years. So, uh, but my hat's off to the bride and groom. Brian, Jen, congratulations.
had an awesome wedding. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, of course, the food was good. And uh, yeah, I'm just reminiscing over, over the weekend and uh, it, it was a great time, it was a great time. The drive home is always longer than what it seems longer than what it is. Uh, but we made it. Uh, the wife was done with about 80, 85 miles left. And she's like, can you handle it? And I said, we'll find out. And fortunately, Lord willing, he, he blessed me with a nice, nice, smooth, no traffic. Everything was great. So, uh, uh, got in last night, like I said, about five. And it was unpack the car, slowly unpack a couple things, but get a cup of coffee and chill and relax. And that's what I did. We went to bed at like 9.30 last night. It was like zonk. His wife got up and she got her office set up last night and she's up working, so. But. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Um, I'm truly, truly blessed that, that I was able to, to be there for my, my in-laws and be there for my buddy. So anyway, that's all I got. And, uh, y'all have a great day and, uh, we'll see what we get into tomorrow. Rock on. Y'all are awesome.